Hey guys, what's up? It's Ultimate Tech Source here. Today, I have an Adobe After Effects CS5 tutorial. You can do this in any Adobe After Effects, I believe. But um, I'm going to be using CS5 for this. And it's going to be a muzzle um, tutorial. Like how to get a muzzle flash. So I'm going to preview it. You can see if you like it and go ahead and continue watching the video. But here it is. Alright, that looks pretty good, as you can see. The sound is like right as it goes out, and, you look, and there's the uh, muscle flash right there. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and show you guys how to do this. So I'm gonna go ahead and close iMovie because we're not using iMovie for this. Okay, so what you're gonna want to do is go ahead and open up Adobe After Effects, whatever version you have. Um, hold on. Okay, so let's go ahead and. I'll just leave all this in here. I'm just going to show you how to do it. Um, actually, I'll go ahead and get rid of all of it. Um, let me keep that in there. Okay. So, let me just even get rid of that. So, first off, you're going to want to go ahead and get your clip or picture, whatever you're going to use. This is mine. I just filmed it. So, it's pretty much just me holding this gun and then shooting it right there. Alright. So, let's go ahead and bring that back fit this to the screen. Alright, right there. That's good. Now what you're going to go ahead and do is go ahead and just search like Google or something. Search like muzzle flash or whatever. Then go ahead and do file, import, file, and then choose the file from wherever you saved it. Mine's right here already. Go ahead and put that in and you actually want it on top of your video so that you can see it go ahead and make it however the size that you want so I'm gonna make mine like that go ahead and move it to the muzzle pretty much okay and then what you're gonna go ahead and do is go ahead and right click on the muzzle flash picture go ahead and go to where is it blending mode and go ahead and choose screen okay background must be black otherwise it'll it won't turn out good the background the background must be black on your muzzle flash so there you go you have it right there you can see it's right there but we don't want it here do we so next what you're gonna do is go ahead and drag to the part where you want your gun to like shoot so I'm gonna drag it right to where my gun goes up right there All right right there I'm gonna drag it right there and go ahead and select it put it right there just like that, okay? Now what you're gonna go ahead and do is you're gonna actually drag this back to zero. I'm gonna go ahead and type in, make sure you're selected on muzzle, muzzle flash, and go ahead and hit T, type in T, and then it should come up with opacity. Go ahead and select the opacity we're going to keyframe it, so go ahead and select that. We're going to put it to zero right now. Opacity pretty much changes how your photo or whatever it is is going to like show up around your background. So like slightly full and zero. All right, so you're going to set it to zero at zero seconds. Go ahead and move like one second in. Okay, or you can just move it to whenever you're going to shoot like right there is where I want it. So and then you're going to go ahead and turn up the opacity to 100% at that second. And right after that, you're going to go ahead and go right there really fast and make this back to zero. And you should be good to go. All right, so let's go ahead and view this. Oh, wait, yeah, I forgot. Um, actually, up to the point. So you want zero at zero seconds. And then go right up to the point and actually put it where you want it to come out. And right before that, go ahead and put it to zero. Because then it's going to show up. So go ahead and put this to zero. And then, so you're going to have zero at the beginning. Zero. And then right when you want it to go, put it to 100. And then right after, put it to zero. So this is what it's going to look like. Oh, wait, shoot. Let me get that off. This is what it's going to look like that right there really quick okay 
and then if you want to you can add a sound which I'm gonna do but for some reason mine wasn't working the sound wasn't going for some reason I don't know if that's just my After Effects or what I'm not too sure but I'm gonna go ahead and what happens if I put it on top? I don't know but let's see still nothing and the audio is going out so I'm not sure about sound mine might be just messed up I'm not I'm not sure how to do sound exactly I haven't been playing around a lot just a little while in After Effects I've had it for about a week now just been playing around a little bit in it and um, here's the tutorial right there again and then you can pretty much just go ahead and render it or do whatever uh, you can go ahead and do if you guys don't know how to render this is also a rendering tutorial so let's go ahead and close this action. So you're going to go to Composition, Add to Render Queue, go ahead and go down here. And I've already rendered this one, so mine's already in here, but um, I'm going to show you how to set it up. Go to Best Settings, go ahead and leave everything. You can, I guess you can edit your frame rate and the time that you want on here. I'm going to put this to 5 seconds. Okay, because I don't need the black screen. And click OK. Go to lossless under that, the output module. And go ahead and leave all that good. Go ahead and go to output 2. And you can name it whatever you want. And then you can save it to wherever in whatever file format. I think just QuickTime. And then click save. Then go ahead and click render. And it'll take about 2 to 3 minutes for just like a 5 second clip, you guys. Um, so that was just a quick tutorial on how to get a muzzle flash in Adobe After Effects. You can do this in any Adobe After Effects. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Source. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.